The previous video showed you how to pass posts to the class forms and we completed the first two lessons. We're going to actually deal with this lesson which is the student portfolios and what I'm going to do is just to show you, I'm going to go back to first grading term and you can see I've completed the first two. The next task I need to do is create my student portfolio. Creating student portfolios. So you can see here I have the files I need, which is the Google account portfolio setup. I have the instruction here. I also have a class rubric of what I'm looking for. And then on the rest of the page it says build your portfolio. Use the rubric to make sure that all the required content is done for this assignment and then I'm, I need to upload something. So let's go back to the instructions that I've gotten. Go to Gantech, I signed in, I did this. Um, it says you can read through this part which says why about a portfolio. You're creating a class student portfolio that you're gonna have all your work on. By the end of the year you can send that link out which will be a, web, a website with all your work to add to your resume, to add to apply to a college, um, to show to friends. So to create your, your portfolio, get started, go to sites.google.com. Well, I'm going to tell you, I put a link here at the very top where it says portfolio, so I'm going to go there. So this is sites.google.com, which you can see. And I already have some portfolio examples, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. Make sure you logged in and press create. So I'm going to... I, I can press create here. Next step, what it says is browse the gallery for more. I can see browse the gallery for more here. Select the school and education category in the search box type Gantech and press enter. So schools and education, I'm going to type Gantech. Now you select the actual class you're enrolled in. Don't select AP Computer Science unless you're enrolled in AP Computer Science. I'm going to do Game Design as an example, and I'm going to push Select. Now you can see I selected Gantech Student Portfolio. I selected not Game Design. If you're in an AP Computer Science class, select the correct template. And you're going to name your site. And you're going to say, obviously, Jamie Gantz. Portfolio. You can actually change the theme. Let's say I wanted a dark background or something like this. I would click that. Let's just say I wanted that. I'm going to say Yavel. And I push create. Oh, my type. And create the site. So it's going to create a student portfolio. And you can see on the left side, the reason you had to select the correct course is I already have a menu for you. So you have reflections, you have I have a dream part one, I have a dream part two, mobile apps and devices, you have performance tasks, you have pair programming with your, your partner, you have a creative, creative project, which is I have a dream projects. So if you select, if you're AP Computer Science and you selected this template, your menu would be wrong. So I've created that, and you said notice the left side, which I did. Now you're going to edit the stuff. Here's the rubric, and you can see it says change welcome to welcome to student name portfolio. So back over here, this is how you edit your, your different pages. Right here, this button, you click edit. It wants me to change welcome to welcome to Jamie Gantz portfolio. The text here, four sentences about myself, Four sentences about my background, my computer background. I need two pictures, a picture of myself 
and also the course description. I'm going to show you how to get the course description. So back over here, you'll change this content, obviously. Add your pictures, add that stuff. But to get the course description, I'm going to go back to my Game Foundations class. Sorry, one. We're going to go to the first course page. And you can see the courses are listed here. This is the first one, Game and Simulation Foundations. It opens a new browser. Here's the course description right here. Simply copy that. And put that on here. And then I'll add my other items. When I'm done with that page, I'll push save. You're also, if you look at the rubric, that's your home page. You're going to add all these things. Your partner page, you're going to add all these things. Where is the partner page? The partner page is right here. Prepare programming, first grading term partner. You're going to update this page according to the rubric. And again, to update the page, you're going to do edit here. All right. So I'm ready. I've done. I've completed all my stuff. How do I turn it in? Upload document. Copy the web address from your browser into the text or a notepad document. Save the file as date login and upload your file. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to my home page. This is my portfolio. I'm going to copy it. I need to start a text editor. I'm going to paste that in. Go ahead and save it. Now it's telling me to save the file as this. So I'm going to click here and click. Go back to my text program. Inside of documents, I have a game foundation folder. Make a assignments turn in folder. So I'm going to copy in the name of the file it wants me to do. Today's date, 09-17-14. Login is jgant. First initial, your last name. I'm going to click Save. And I, again, I'm on a Mac. You would just use a notepad on Windows. Now what do I do? I'm going to choose the file. Well, the next up it says upload the file below. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Remember again, it was in my documents. I had a game foundations folder. It was called assignments turn in. This is my file. I'm going to push open. And I push upload. You can see now it gave me five additional points. And now this is actually green. This has been the tutorial on how to create your student portfolio. Obviously, you have to go in and add a couple things. You have to add all your background information, but this is how to turn this assignment in.